Hey guys, Dr. Sharon here and welcome to Need Buddy MCQs where I provide you with daily biology MCQs for your practice before the upcoming NEET exam. We have already done chapter wise revision twice, unit wise revision four times on this very channel and you'll find the videos in the playlist of the channel. Right now we are doing jumbled MCQs where I'm providing you with MCQs from all the chapters of class 11th and class 12th in CRT biology. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one, stirred tank bioreactors have been designed for addition of preservatives to the product, purification of the product, ensuring anaerobic conditions in the culture vessel, availability of oxygen throughout the process. Stirred tank bioreactors have been designed for, the correct answer is option four, for the availability of oxygen throughout the process. Question number two. The part of fallopian tube closest to the ovary is isthmus, infundibulum, cervix, ampulla. Closest to ovary. The correct answer is option 2, infundibulum. Question number 3. An improved variety of transgenic rice does not require chemical fertilizers and growth hormone, gives high yield and is rich in vitamin A, is completely resistant to all the insect pests and disease of paddy, gives high yield but has no characteristic atoms. The correct answer is option 2. It gives high yield and is rich in vitamin A. Question number 4. Infectious proteins are present in Gemini viruses, prions, viroid, satellite viruses. The correct answer is option 2, prions. Question number 5. Axial skeleton is present in Archimon, Dianthus, Lemon, P. The correct answer is option C or option 3 that is Lemon. Question number 6. In which of the following both pairs have been correctly combined? Gaseous nutrient cycle, sulfur and phosphorus, sedimentary cycle, carbon and nitrogen. Option 2, gaseous nutrient cycle, carbon and nitrogen, sedimentary nutrient cycle, sulfur and phosphorus. Option 3, gaseous nutrient cycle, carbon and sulfur, sedimentary nutrient cycle, nitrogen and phosphorus. Gaseous nutrient cycle, nitrogen and sulfur, sedimentary nutrient cycle, carbon and phosphorus. The correct answer is option 2. Carbon and nitrogen cycles are gaseous nutrient cycles. Sulfur and phosphorus are sedimentary nucleus cycles. Question number 7. In mammalian eye, fovea is center of visual field where more rods than cons are present. High density of cons occur but has no rods. Optic nerve leaves the eye. Only rods are present. The correct answer is option 2. There is high density of cons but no rods. Question number 8. Choose the wrong statement, incorrect statement. Yeast is unicellular and useful in fermentation. Penicillium is multicellular and produces antibiotics. Neurospora is used in study of biochemical genetics. Morals and truffles are poisonous mushrooms. The wrong statement is option 4. Morals and truffles are poisonous mushroom. That's incorrect. Morals and truffles are instead consumed by humans. So they are obviously not poisonous. Question number 9. Which of the following is not membrane bound? Mesosomes, vacuoles, ribosomes, lysosomes. The correct answer is option 3. Ribosomes are cell organelles that are not membrane bound. Question number 10. In which of the following interactions both partners are adversely affected? Mutualism, competition, predation, parasitism. The correct answer is option 2, competition. Question number 11. The largest gene in man is insulin gene, tumor suppressor gene, beta globin gene of hemoglobin or dystrophin. Largest gene in man. Correct answer is option D, dystrophin gene. Question number 12. Which of the following plant 
keeps its stomata open during night and closed during day. Orchids, cactus, tea, wheat. Correct answer is option B, cactus and why so? Because if the stromata are open during the day, it will lose water via transpiration process and cactus being grown in deserts in xerophytic condition needs to conserve water. So it keeps stromata closed during the day and opens it during the night. Question number 13. Genetic dwarfism can be overcome by which of the following plant hormones? Gibberellin, ethylene, auxin, ABA or abscisic acid? Correct answer is option A, gibberellin. Question number 14. Hormone inducing fruit ripening is cytokine, ethylene, abscisic acid, gibberellic acid. Hormone that induces fruit ripening is? Correct answer is option B, ethylene. Question number 15. The year 1900 AD is highly significant for geneticists due to discovery of genes, principle of linkage, chromosome theory of heredity, rediscovery of Mendelssohn. There are four important events in the field of genetics. Which of these occurred in year 1900 AD? The correct answer is option D, rediscovery of Mendelism. So those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share the video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.